Hey everybody, it's Rock'em Soccer from the cast of season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Right now we're in the middle of a pandemic and I've seen countless images of hundreds of you just going out into public, Fire Island, makeshift pride, running out to the park without your masks and without social distancing. And here's the thing, if you're not wearing a mask, you need to stay home. And we're gonna be doing a makeup transformation with your mask on. You're gonna look glam, you're gonna look gorgeous, but you're also gonna be safe, well protected, and ready to go out and slay. First thing we're gonna do is take off your eyebrows. Oh, I guess they're back. Okay, cute. So this is just like any other makeup tutorial. We're gonna be following the normal steps to doing our face that we always do. And now it's time to glue everything down. Now remember, it's important for you to always keep your mask on, especially when you're social distancing with other people. So we're gonna go ahead and start to glue down our sideburns. Now that you've put glue in your brows, make sure that you comb them down. Okay, get, we're gonna have to, okay. Our mask keeps flapping, so what we're gonna have to do is just like a pesky wig, we're gonna have to glue just the edges down. Disclaimer, do not do this at home. You will die. I am doing this for your entertainment. And I'm pressing the mask down. Oh boy, okay, I can smell that. Whoo, it smells like alcohol in here. Don't do it, do not do this. I spare on the top and we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. My face is burning. She is glued down and she is secure. See, she's not going anywhere. I'm bucking and kicking and I can still keep my mask on. That's what we're doing. Okay, my hair was getting in my way so I clipped it back. And now the first thing that I usually do after I glue down my brows is I prime my face. And um, I'm just gonna put it all over my face like I would normally do. And you wanna make sure that you get primer everywhere, so. I'm gonna prime my mask too, cause I wanna make sure that it sticks to the mask. Ooh, this stuff smells really good. In fact, it's the only thing I'm smelling right now. And then we're just gonna wipe that in. Mmm, oh, that makes my skin feel so good. Ooh, it makes my mask feel even better. And we're all primed up, and the next step is gonna be foundation. Why does this look good though? <laughs> <laughs> is there a tan line? <laughs> so we're gonna start off with uh oh no. I brought the wrong shade. Ah, this is a pandemic! Look at how red this is! I brought the wrong stick! You know what? It is a time of crisis. You work with what you got. This is actually the, the shade that I used when I first started doing drag. What we can do right now is I'm gonna use the guides of the mask as a place, like, as a way to place my shadows. I can't believe no one stopped me from using this shade before. Look at how red it is! I look like I just got beaten with a salami. And the nose. I'm kind of living for this, actually. I look like I have sunburn. I've got my mask on, so it looks like I don't have nostrils or a mouth. And then I'll bring my highlight. I'll bring it down right here on my nose. So you see that? See how you kind of imply that at one point you had a nose? I don't know about you guys, there is a mirror across the room right now and it kind of looks like I have a nose right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. Dee -dee 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 -dee. See, you guys don't even know if I'm actually saying these things or if we're adding it in post because you can't see my mouth. <laughs> and the last thing I'm gonna do is just blend this down just a little bit more because it is it's very, it is very red. Do not turn up the vibrance on this video. I will be very, very, very red. Here's one of the benefits about wearing a mask while you're doing makeup. I'm not breathing in any of the powder right now. This might be the one cure that we have for drag queens getting clown lung. Look, you don't want that makeup falling off of your mask anytime soon, so make sure you set it down. I already had the same skin texture when we started, so I'm basically working off of what I already had. Look at that cheekbone though. <gasps> She's cut! <laughs> Look at that cheekbone contour. Sickening. I'm also going to put a little bit of contour just below my bottom lip. See how that kind of gives your lip this kind of pouty look? Okay, you guys. Next step is to add blush. This is going to be the new trend. Just watch. People are gonna be doing drag shows. They're gonna have their masks like this girl. There's gonna be rhinestones all over them. 
And then I like to add just a little bit of blush on the nose to make it look like I've been sneezing. I mean, if I am sneezing, you guys are protected because I'm wearing a mask. When people say you should be a little more mask, this is how I take it. When people see your mask, they're gonna be like, that's what her face looks like underneath it. I swear. Add white to my nose. Ooh, look at that. I have a nose again. Okay, perfect. We're gonna come back to this later and we're gonna add lip liner, but for now we're gonna focus on the eyes. People seem to have this weird obsession with following public health codes until it like really inconveniences them. They have no problems following public health safety until their summer is questioned, you know? There you go. And just bring the white down just where you normally would. I usually go to the first ridge of the mask right here. But if you're really bold, you can go down to the second ridge of the mask but we're gonna go for a more understated look today. So we're only gonna go to this first line right here. <laughs> I full on put this white on and I expect it to feel the rough part of the mask just here on my eye. I don't know where my face begins and the mask ends anymore. This is what Leonardo DiCaprio felt like in Men in the Iron Mask. <gasps> Should we do one with an iron mask next? So here, and then just bring it to the middle and then lightly fade it in. Just right there. See that? So it kind of adds like a definition to the bottom of the eye. So with the white, we went to the first line of the mask. With the dark purple, we're only going to the second. And we're leaving this third kind of area untouched because this is where our lips are going to go. So what do, what do I call them? Should I call them gills? I could lip sync the house down in this look right now. I'd like to keep it on, please. I had to do it once. I'm so sorry, you guys. That's so cringy. My nose is running. <sighs> okay, we've gotten all of our shades in, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head in with our eyeliner and mark out where we want our liner to go. That makes such a big difference. See, adding this little tight line to your fake waterline. Now, if you're not used to this uneven surface that the mask is right now, it's really important for you to just keep a steady hand and to use light pressure, otherwise you're gonna go overboard with it. And if you bring your inner corner just to the tip of the mask, it is like the perfect marker. I don't know why I didn't wear a mask this whole time. My makeup game could have been A+. Little do you know, inside my mask is a complete storm of snot. It's like fully gooey in there. Remember, you are a canvas and your mask is also made of canvas. All right, then we're gonna take some glitter and I'm just gonna press it in. Oh God, ooh, I'm living because I'm wearing my mask right now. Or if I wear a mask, then whenever I do a death drop, it's just for pretend and not for realsies. I'm so hot. Okay. Um, okay, so now that we've finished with the eyes, the next step is gonna be the mouth. So what I like to do is I like to line my lips first. It is a blank canvas. Your lips can be whatever they want right now. So, ooh, okay. Yes, ooh. Go light and gentle. This is the step that could make or break your look, okay? Just do, just pucker your lips like this. And then do your cupid bow right here. Ooh, look at that. See that definition right there? Okay, and I also want my mouth to be open like when you take Instagram pictures and you're like this and then you lightly blow out and you go, that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna make my pressed lips. We're gonna take a nice liquid lipstick and we're just going to place it over the top. What I like to do is I'll do the bottom lip and then just smack your lips together like this. I'm literally pressing my tongue against the mask right now. <laughs> it tastes so, I can taste it through the mask. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our nostrils. Perfect. Most people wouldn't even be able to tell that I'm wearing a mask right now. I like to add a highlight here at the top of my cheeks and then also just right on my cupid's bow. I can spray as much as I want. I'm not gonna breathe any of this in. None of this is even getting in, see watch. Now that everything is on, I'm gonna get the full look on and we will be right back. This 
this is the final look, you guys. Oh my God, I'm ready for a drag performance. I'm ready for people to drive by and tip me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I had an amazing time. I feel safe and protected. Somebody sneezed on me earlier and I didn't even catch a whiff of it. I'm still gonna get tested for COVID because most cities have drive-by COVID testing. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure to like and comment on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to tip me, make sure you go on Venmo or Cash App. You can also buy my merch from rock'emsoftware.com. There is a little bit of a wait because of COVID, but please be patient. And if you'd like to support me and help make new YouTube videos like this and see exclusive content like what it looks like when I take off this mask, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to all the patrons that helped make this wonderful video today. Is it gonna be here? Is it gonna be here? Is it gonna be here? This happened because of you guys and wash your hands.